So who doesn't love the bright lights of the big city? Turns out several people in upper Manhattan. The bright lights are meant to light up a parking lot, but are shining into apartments instead. Some saying they can't even tell the difference between day and night. It is so bright. And right now they are fed up. Eyewitness News reporter Stefan Kim went to check things out. When Brendan Gage moved into his brownstone on 137th Street in Harlem in January, the sun splashed south facing back patio was part of the apartment's selling point. But what he didn't realize at the time was this was a buy one, get one free deal, the kind he didn't sign up for. Because along with all that natural light beaming into his unit, comes with it a blast of artificial light all night long. It's like having two suns in the sky. I mean, it's brighter than the full moon. He says it makes it impossible to enjoy his back patio at night. And who would have thought he would need blackout curtains at night? It's shining into our homes, um, and we should be able to have our windows open without having uh, halogen lights, stadium lights blasting into our apartment that we didn't ask for. It appears the purpose of this light is to light up the parking lot below it, but as you can see, it's blasting every backyard down the block. And the light isn't angled downwards, so much as right into your face. If you stare into it long enough, it will, it will burn your eyes. And there are units that have it worse than him. Take a look at the windows along the side of the building next to his. For months, he says he's tried everything, including calling 311. I've gotten my elected representatives involved with this. Unfortunately, because there's a lack of regulation on light pollution from residential properties, uh -huh. there's not much they can really do. Uh -huh. So if that was an office building, for example, they could send the city in and, and yeah. they could enforce ordinances. A spokesperson for Eris Management, which owns the light in a statement says, we are aware of the issue and working to resolve it. Gage says he's heard that before. They tell me that they know about it and that they've been waiting for a, uh, a contract bids to get it fixed or removed. Okay. However, that was over the summer okay. um, and nothing has been done. And when I when I call the office, I never get a call back. In the meantime, he'll be waiting for the light at the end of the tunnel.